Hello students, I am Dr. Vidita Ratho, Associate Professor of Zoology at SMP Government PG College Nathadwara, Raj Saman. Today I am going to teach you canal system in sponges. Canal system in sponges. First of all, we must know what is a canal system. The canal system is a distinguishing feature of all sponges. The sponges have perforated body which is having numerous apertures for incoming and outgoing water current. Inside body, the water current flows through a certain system of spaces which is collectively forming the canal system. So, the water circulatory system of sponges which is also called as canal system and that is the characteristic feature of all porifers. Canal system is also known as aquiferous system. The canal system of sponges helps in food acquisition, respiratory gaseous exchange and it also helps in excretion. The numerous perforations on the body surface of sponges for Incoming and outgoing water current are the main constituents of the canal system. Inside the body, the water current flows through these pores and certain system of spaces whereby the food is captured from the incoming water and the excretory material is sent out into the outgoing water. Functions of the water current. The most vital role in the physiology of sponges is played by the water current on which their life depends. As we know that porifers are having perforated body and numerous pores are present on their body. There are many pores on the surface of the body which are called as ostea through which the water enters inside the body of sponges and one bigger pore at the extreme end of the body which is called as osculum and this can be compared with the anal pore of the animal through which the water goes out of the body. So all exchanges between sponges body and the external medium is maintained by means of the water current. The water current plays very important role in the physiology of these sponges. The body wall consists of two layers, the outer pinacoderm and the inner coenoderm. The pinacoderm layer is having a special type of the cells which are called as the porocyte cells. These porocyte cells bear openings which are called as ostea. The second or the inner layer is called as the coenoderm and this coenoderm is composed of a special type of the cells which are peculiar type of the cells present in porifers and they are called as the coenocytes or the collar cells. The coenocyte cells have collar of microvilli around the flagellum. The water current is caused by beating of the flagella of the collar cells. Food and oxygen are brought into the body and excreta and reproductive bodies are carried out of the body through this water current. The water current which enters the body of sponges through the canal system performs the following functions. First, all exchanges between sponge body and the external medium are maintained by means of water current. Food and oxygen are brought into through water current. The excreta are taken out of the body with the help of water current. The reproductive bodies are carried out and into the body of sponges by the water current. So, by this introduction, we understand that what is the canal system and what is the importance of water currents in canal system. In the next videos, we will discuss 
about various types of the canal systems components of the canal system thank you